Hey guys, this is Basil. In this video, we will provide an overview of the Amcrest GPS website for use with the Amcrest AMGL300 GPS tracker. Before you begin, make sure your device is turned on and attached to the vehicle, person, or asset you want to track. To get started, you will need to activate your device first. To do this, go to amcrest.com forward slash GPS dash activation and complete the activation form on the screen. Once complete, you should receive a confirmation email containing your login credentials. Next, in a web browser, go to amcrestgps.com. At the top, click on Login and enter your credentials. After logging in, the main screen will display with a map. By default, a gray pin should be displayed indicating the location of your device. On the left side of the screen, there is an option menu. The asset or device will be listed here. Once you click on the box to select your device, the map will automatically zoom in to a street-level view of the gray pin we saw a moment ago on the larger map. The arrow buttons allow you to enlarge or reduce the size of the option menu from an expanded view to a capsulized sidebar. The menu button lets you choose which type of asset you want to display – a driver, portable device, or vehicle. The gear icon lets you customize the individual metrics you want displayed in the option menu. And the magnifying glass allows you to search or filter assets if you have multiple devices. At the top left, there are menu options for Map, Asset Info, Trips, Zones, Alerts, and reports. For more detailed information about zones, alerts, and reports, please refer to our other videos in this Amcrest GPS video series with the same corresponding titles. Asset info is information of the asset including status, current speed, date and time, and position. In this window, there are tabs below for recent alerts, recent events, recent trips, and more information. On the right side of the screen, there are some useful tools. The plus and minus icons let you zoom in and out on the map. There is also a zone creation tool, which is indispensable when creating zones for your asset. Zones are a key area of focus and are an important feature of the Amcrest GPS tracker AMGL300. Therefore, we will go into more detail to cover it in our zone creation video. The stack icon lets you customize your map source using either Google Streets, MapQuest, or MapQuest Satellite, which shows the terrain on the map. You can also customize which overlays are shown on your map. These overlays include no-go zones, keep-in zones, locations, routes, asset labels, and asset icons. No-go zones are geofenced zones on the map where you can designate an area into which you don't want your device to enter. Keep-in zones do the opposite, as they are geofenced zones where you can designate an area from which you do not want your device to exit. On the top right, there is your user profile which allows you to log out, and there's a mute icon. If you were to trigger a high-priority alert, a siren will go off and not stop until you dismiss the alert. This megaphone or speaker icon will mute all alerts. For more information on alerts, please check out our alert configuration video. We hope this video has given you an understandable overview of the AmcrestGPS.com web application. Thank you for watching guys, please subscribe to our channel and check out more how-to videos from Amcrest Technologies.